Sargeras and the Betrayal. Over time, demonic entities made their way into the Titan's world from the Twisting Nether, and the Pantheon elected its greatest warrior, Sargeras, to act as its first line of defense. A noble giant of molten bronze, Sargeras carried out his duties for countless millennia, seeking out and destroying these demons wherever he could find them. Over the eons, Sargeras encountered two powerful demonic races, both of which were bent on gaining power and dominance over the physical universe. The Eridar, an insidious race of devilish sorcerers, used their warlock magic to invade and enslave a number of worlds. The indigenous races of the, those worlds were mutated by the Eridar's malevolent powers and turned into demons themselves. Though Sargeras, nearly limitless powers, were more than enough to defeat the vile Eridar, he was greatly troubled by the creature's corruption and all-consuming evil. Incapable of fathoming such depravity, the great titan began to slip into a brooding depression. Despite his growing unease, Sargeras rid the universe of the warlock by trapping them within a corner of the twisting nether. While his confusion and misery deepened, Sargeras was forced to contend with another group, intent on disrupting the Titan's order, the Nathrazim. This dark race of vampiric demons, also known as Dreadlords, conquered a number of populated worlds by possessing their inhabitants and turning them to sh the shadow. The nefarious, scheming Dreadlords turned whole nations against each other by n manipulating them into its unthinking hatred and mistrust. Sargeras defeated the Nathrazim easily, but their corruption affected him deeply. As doubt and despair overwhelmed Sargeras' senses, he lost all faith not only in his mission, but also in the Titan's vis vision of an ordered universe. Eventually, he came to believe that the concept of order itself was folly, and that chaos and depravity were the only absolutes within the dark, lonely universe. His fellow titans tried to persuade him of his error and calm his raging emotions, but he disregarded their more optimistic beliefs as self-serving delusions. Storming from their ranks forever, Sargeras set out to find his own place in the universe. Although the Pantheon was sorrowful at his departure, the titans could never have predicted just how far their lost brother would go. By the time Sagras madness had consumed the last vestiges of his valiant spirit, he believed that the Titans themselves were responsible for creation's failure. Deciding at last to undo their work throughout the universe, he resolved to form an unstoppable army that would set the physical universe aflame. Even Sagras' titanic form became distorted from the corruption that plagued his once noble heart. His eyes, hair, and beard erupted in fire and his metallic bronze skin slid open to reveal an endless furnace of blistering hate. In his fury, Sargeras shattered the prisons of the Eridar and the Nathrazim and set the loathsome Temans free. These cunning creatures bowed before the Dark Titan's vast rage and offered to serve him in whatever malicious ways they could. From the ranks of the powerful Eridar, Sargeras picked two champions to command his demonic army of destruction. Kil'jaeden, the Deceiver, was chosen to seek out the darkest races in the universe and recruit them to Sargeras' ranks. The second champion, Archimonde the Defiler, was chosen to lead Sargeras' vast armies into battle against any who might resist the Titan's will. Kil'jaeden's first move was to enslave the vampiric dreadlords under his terrible power. The Dreadlords served as his personal agents throughout the universe, and they took pleasure in locating primitive races for their master to corrupt and bring into the fold. First among the Dreadlords was Tychondrius the Darkner. Tychondrius served Kil'jaeden as the perfect soldier, and agreed to bring Sargeras' burning will to the, all the dark corners of the universe. The mighty Archimond also empowered agents of his own, calling upon the malefic Pit Lords and their barbarous leader, Manoroth the Destructor. Archimonde hoped to establish a fighting elite that would scour creation of all life. 
Once Sargrat saw that his armies were amassed and ready to follow his every command, he launched his raging forces into the vastness of the Great Dark. He referred to his growing army as the Burning Legion. To this date, it is still unclear how many worlds they consumed and burned on their unholy burning crusade across the universe.